Welcome everybody over there on YouTube. Oh, sorry, Hawkeye. I'll get you on the screen a little better. Wait, maybe not. Oh, that's my hand. There we go. All right, you're in there. Um, and of course, everybody here on in Twitch chat. Uh, we are playing some Simic Adapt again. We played this last night. Uh, had a went 5-0 with it, but we had some pretty good matchups, kind of overall and everything. Uh, we, you know, and so. We're going to try it again today. It felt very good yesterday. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and try it out again. Making, making a couple of small changes like we did at the end of the video yesterday. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yes, I do start building every green deck with three Vivian because Vivian is incredible. And somebody says, said earlier that this deck feels like it has zero removal. That's, that's Vivian. Vivian's our removal spell. It's just an incredibly good card. Um, I was ple pleasantly surprised with Zagana. Uh, pleasantly pleased with Zagana. Not really surprised, but pleased with Zagana. Yesterday. Playing it. Alright, Simic Adapt. Yeah, Vivian is great. Growth Chamber Guardian, great. Biogenic Ooze. Frilled Mystic is awesome. We're getting the fourth Frilled Mystic in the deck. So just this is a deck I, I enjoy playing this deck for sure. This is a this is a really fun deck to play. Uh, what in your opinion is the best of the new decks? Uh, two that I I like a whole lot are the Civic Adept and the Naya Value, these two that we're playing today that are not our donation decks. Um, I enjoy them a whole lot and think they're pretty strong. Yeah, uh, Vraska Golgari Queen in the Sultai deck. Um, you know, it's it's not a creature for Vanifar. Hey, that's the first time I've seen an opponent play that card. They get to scry three at the beginning of your first upkeep. Oh, right, so they get to see my land first. Wow, that's really good on the draw. You get to see your opponent's first play before you scry. I didn't realize it was the beginning of your first upkeep kind of thing. You know, I was just thinking like there's like a pre-game effect you scry three. How do we beat Drakes? Yeah, we got a good amount in our sideboard for Drakes. Um, you know, we have like the Vivians that can kill Drakes. We, you know, we can counter stuff with Frilled Mystic. We can counter Drakes with that. Um, but I got Kral Harpooners in the sideboard for him. We did not play against Drakes yesterday. Um, yeah, there's a lot of information down below in the donation panel about all the the different donation bonuses. So we got a Sphinx of Foresight already coming next turn, but it'll be a shame if something happened to it. Yeah, in general, shock lands are better than check lands. Yeah, I would recommend crafting those first. Alright, so our opponent may also have a frilled mystic. That's what it kind of feels like. Thank you. Um, not yet. Oh no. Bear Army joined to be the thousandth. Awesome. Thanks, Bear Army. Hmm. 
I think I can just frill Mystic back. Because if they play... They play Sphinx, Sphinx next turn. Um... They, they play Sphinx, we have Vivian to kill the Sphinx. I know I could I know I could have blocked and adapted before damage the, the previous uh, turn, but I wanted to be able to keep Frilled Mystic available. Huh. That card's pretty big. That card's pretty big. Well, one Incubation Druid and a Frilled Mystic can take care of that. Um... So I want to play Vivian. If I play Vivian, I could still have Frilled Mystic available until after I block. Then I won't have Mystic available anymore. <laughs> I think that's okay. Yeah, I have Mystic open until, until damage happens and Druid dies. Friend. Then I will, will not have... Um, Mystic available anymore. Do I just play Biogenicus here? Yeah. <laughs> I've not tried to build an Arcades deck yet. No, I haven't tried that yet, Bear Army. They have Overgrown Tomb, so I'm guessing Fine Finality. Well, we're still in the first game so far, uh, D's, so I don't want to be too uh, hasty on how I think the, the changes are yet. Uh, it's still just the first game of the league. Oh, that's a good attack. So that's... That's a good attack there by the opponent. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? And I didn't block that. I, Vivian could have one more loyalty if I would have had Frilled Mystic. That can't I would have blocked that now. a little better. Alright, yeah, ooze down, but that's okay. We're in a wonderful spot here because we got Vivian in play. And, of course, a Frilled Mystic available. Well, I guess I need to do that. Meteor Golem will just destroy the uh, Vivian. Yeah, that was an unexpected Meteor. The wilds are my shield. All right, so I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 12. Yeah, that card's pretty good. Hey, Kalua King. I, I don't do I don't do anything to try to stay beautiful really I just uh just normal you know get get a lot of sleep 
And, uh, yeah. That's about it. Um, Alright, what do we change in? So we're playing like a mirror type match. I could certainly be see River's Rebuke being a pretty good card here. Bouncing a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, Frilled Mystic is great. I guess I, I don't think I really need Dive Down. Doesn't seem like it. So we take out Dive Down, put in a River's Rebuke, and mm. put in maybe another Negate. Do I... What do I need Negates for? Negate doesn't counter Frilled Mystic. Um... Maybe Harpooner. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Kalu King. Yeah, we got to the thousand a little bit ago. We'll get a second Harpooner in here. I feel like they're going to have like more spells. Oh, Vivian. I want to be able to negate Vivian. Yeah, maybe I should be playing Mass Manipulation. Maybe that's a better card than, like, River's Rebuke. Ripjaw is for the aggro matchups. It's really good against Red, uh, in particular. We've been getting good hands. We've certainly been getting good hands. And turn two druid, turn three climb. That's really not real strong. They're playing like essence scatter. Oh right, we saw that card from them. Guide. All right, so now I can just hold up Frilled Mystic. Um, basically, the same the same kind of game as what just happened last game. We just hold up Frilled Mystic. Our opponent hits a, hits us for two passes. No, no memorials in the deck. Are they passing or nah? So next turn, I, I could have Donna's Climb and then the Incubation Druid could add three mana and I'd have four mana, but that four mana would not be able to cast Frilled Mystic because it'd be three mana of one color. All right, so there's Krasis. I'm going to counter that. Um, they still get their, it's still, it's a cast trigger. So they'll still get their one card. But I think I'm I think I'm oozing for a bruising. Uh sorry who all Yeah, I do need to increase the number of songs on the playlist. The YouTube channel, of course, doesn't have, does not have the music on it, so, uh, you know, you can, you know, that's also another place to watch is on YouTube as well. But yeah, I'm sorry. Let's see. All right, so they just went Landwehr off pass. Certainly looks like Frilled Mystic here. Um, I think I can just. I think I'm going to lead with this Merfolk Branch Walker and see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
So I did have like the ability to like if, if my opponent did not frilled mystic this, if they um yeah, if they didn't use frilled mystic, I think I think I would have just passed and build it, you know, just have like the ooze thing up, but all right, so now do I want to make an ooze or do I want to play climb? I think I want to play climb. Behind the wheel. I'm not putting the counter on Druid yet. I think I want Frilled Mystic to be able to fight a uh, District Guide in a fight. Ah, Rex Age, you got me. Alright, maybe I should have. Yeah, and who I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm certainly not upset that you, uh, you know, for speaking up about that. That's, that's certainly an understandable. Um, because, yeah, no, I listen to the same songs here streaming all the time also. Um, mm -hmm. All right, well, I feel bad for not pumping this last time now, but let's go and pump it now. So we got four mana, so we can just make a news, um, or I can play these two cards. I do like getting this other Incubation Druid in play, so I can just, you know, because I'm going to want to have a whole lot of mana for Biogenic Ooze um, over time. But I'm going to make a news for now. That's true. We do have to be careful for Finality. That's a good point. So this, this kind of helps us out against Finality of pumping up the Druid, and now Druid Ooze are all above it. Yeah, that's a good card. Certainly could be a mistake that I've cut down to two crisis. Ooh. Only one creature in the graveyard? Come on. Alright, two creatures in the graveyard now. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine mana. So I can make two oozes. Or I can play Druid. Puts me down to seven. So I can go Druid, Growth Chamber Guardian, and an ooze. And one ooze. It's good to get that thing on the battlefield. <laughs> well, Harpooner was in the sideboard. It's for it's for Drakes. I brought in like one in, out of the sideboard. Who's going to be a cube MVP someday? I could certainly, yeah, I can see that. And also, Hydroid Crisis is probably a great cube card. You know, play like your Grim Monoliths and stuff and get a lot of mana and then Hydroid Crisis. Cube is an, another way of playing um, where you, you basically, uh, you, you have like a set number of cards that you set aside and you make packs of 15 cards with, with all those cards, just like standard all-stars throughout the years kind of thing. And you you draft those cards. All right, so they have Frilled Mystic also. It's in the world. I want a name when I lose. Call me Deacon Blues. So it looks like a Frilled Mystic here. Hmm.
So making this attack before my opponent knows that I'm going to be killing the 7-7 seven, seven Hydroid Krasis. Um, so I'm going to use this Druid to pump up the Growth Chamber Guardian. That's 3 mana. Then I have 5 mana for the Vivian to kill the 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, so they're going double block twice. No. Add three green. Adapt that. This thing go. And they kind of don't have a battlefield anymore. But they got a lot of cards in hand, so we'll see what happens. Wasn't it better to adapt Elf and then Vivian? I don't know. I, got, I, had, I was attacking with another four-four there. I think you meant. I think you were talking about the druid. Whoa. That's rude. Hmm. Well. Time to rebuild. Gate, you're a little late. All right, so I got like one more turn for this. Find something for this hydroid crisis. Yeah, who was that that doesn't really have a battlefield anymore? Uh, that was me now. Me now. So we got, what, just... Basically we need to draw one of our two other Vivians or one of our two Hydroid Krasises. I think we have to draw one of those four. Smothering type and emergency powers deck, please. Okay. All right, we got a donation for a smothering type, type and emergency powers deck from Cryo. MTG. Alright, Cryo, what what day and what time slot would you like me to play that deck? Thank you. So we're going to have... Did that. Like, so first, second, third, or fourth, and which day? Maybe just more harpooners instead of the negates. Um, so smothering tithe. and emergency powers. After seven central, Thursday. All right, Thursday after 
7 Central. All right, I'll 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 be looking for something. I'll see if we can figure something out here for that. Yeah, I don't I don't really need the negates. I don't think. All right, Vraska with the sub sub number two on the day. I get some hype votes in the chat for Vraska. Thanks for subbing there. I really do appreciate that. All right, so we'll s I'll see what I can come up come up with there. Yeah, you can play smothering types without revel the riches. Um, or maybe I'll play it with it. Maybe we'll be Esper. Okay, revel or wilderness reclamation. I I feel like I could have um. I, I kind of want to play that with uh, I kind of want to play that with the green the green card destroy all um, artifacts or enchantments and put a, a three three into play for each one. I'm gonna play it with that card. Cancel. That's really good for me. That's certainly good for me, just using a frilled mystic for nothing. Wasting a frilled mystic. Oh, Alright, so I have three, four, five. I can certainly just have Carnage Tyrant next turn. I don't think I can really let that resolve. Alright, so what's the... Hey, what's up? Morgan, how you doing? Uh, so, what was the question here? Can you explain when that would be the correct play versus holding it? I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what that one... Is quite referring to. Oh, Tatiova. Love it. That card's so cool. That's a great card. Um, so I... I am not... So I could rebuke here, but I can't rebuke in Frilled Mystic. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play Vivian and hold up Frilled Mystic. And I'll, I'll have my two blockers for Vivian. Let's come to me. Oh yeah, doing good. Doing good. And Ken, finally get platinum. Way to go, Ken. Good job. You went Esper with Revitalize. Okay. Um. Yeah, Morgan, just streaming full time. Staying at home. Uh, working from home and everything. It's been, been real good. I enjoy it quite a bit. Alright, what's our opponent doing here? Are they going to try to rebuke? Hey, Duriel. I am planning on, on uh, moving back to Texas, most likely. 
Um, late spring, early summer. I want to go back where it's warm. I really don't like this cold weather. I'm in uh, Roanoke, Virginia right now. And it's, you know, like 20 degrees outside and I don't like it at all. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Alright, so I can pit, play a big Hydroid Crisis or I could Rivers Rebuke them and attack them. I don't want to put more on the battlefield because I feel like my opponent's going to need to w Rivers Rebuke us to keep this Vivian from ultimating, so um, I don't want to like put more things on the battlefield, really. Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's, it's okay that they have Frilled Mystic. I don't need to cast anything right now. Oh, Meteor Golem. Forgot about that card. I guess that card keeps me from ultimating Vivian. I always survive. You'll see. <laughs> Alright, if we draw another Vivian, we have lethal. Uh, Vivian can destroy the Meteor Golem. Alright, we do not. Um, I guess I could have just got Krasis rebuked, yeah. And just saved, saved my Frilled Mystic. I liked getting the, the pressure in, but... Hmm. Okay. And so now, if our opponent has Rebuke, I can still flash in Frilled Mystic at end step. Uh, but Growth Chamber also just kind of replaces itself if it would die. So we have a lot of options here. Yeah, Gifted Sub, song, okay, payment for Song Request? Absolutely, Lushington, absolutely. Yep, I am very... Uh, I don't know, easygoing or adaptable. Yep, better all around. Absolutely. Looks like they don't have a way to really survive here. I faced this Lesnia token deck, got three March of the Mul Multitudes into triple. Uh, separately migration, but I had an ooze on the field, which kept all those pesky tokens at bay. Wow. Alright, so that's two blockers. They need two more. That's another blocker. They need one more. One more blocker. Alright, we won the Simic Mirror. To change your art for your basic lands, go to go to the deck builder, type in your basic land, and click reset. You know, like in here, type in your basic land in the search thing, go to the advanced filters, and click reset. And the other arts will show up that you are allowed to use. Um, I, I'm enjoying this deck out of the new season so far. So far, both this Simic Adapt and Nai Valley, both these decks are two decks that I'm I'm enjoying quite a bit. Um, I'm supposed to be playing a Naya Angels donation deck up next. Uh, those donated to me yesterday, but I, I don't have that deck list yet. I'm waiting for Fleck. Fleck donated for it, so Fleck, if, if you're in here yet, I still need that the deck list for that. 
I haven't seen Fleck in the in the chat today though. Thanks, Shu. I'm glad you love the stream. Have you ever build a deck revolving Adelies? I have not. Um, blue red decks aren't like blue red and blue white decks, kind of in general, aren't necessarily my specialty. And a uh, bunch of spells. I like creatures more than spells. In general. So when we saw like a card like Terramander, uh, this is a card that is one of my least favorite cards from the set because I know that I'm gonna die to this card a whole lot. Hey, Lushington, gifting out five subs. Thank you so much, uh, Lushington. I have not played any Nexus of Fate decks. We played against. I played against two Nexus of Fate decks since the latest set has been out. Um, what's another question? Hey. I know you're going to send out an email in a few days with some decks. I was wondering, as of now, if you were heading to the first standard, what deck would you bring as of now? Um, I mean, I, I think the Simic Adapt and I value would be like one of these two. Um, I'd probably bring one of those two. Uh, so probably Naya value, actually, right now. Hmm. All right, so we got uh, seven subs on the day. Getting that sub hype. Did, did I get some sub? Did I get hype boats in the chat? I don't know if I did. I'm getting them in there now. So thank you so much, Lushington. So congratulations to Yoshino, uh, Nasty, Nasty Murph. We'll go with that. J Box, Wandering Wonder, and Argon Mendon. Ooh, Grixis. Grixis. Alright, so I have Frilled Mystic. Shinseer PG also getting in on the hype action. Welcome. No, yeah, this deck doesn't have quasi duplicates anymore. It's similar, but yeah, without the quasi duplicate. And I. I I've been been liking it. Yeah, so this could be Grixis Drakes. Uh, I want the Frilled Mystic for a potential Drake here. I think I'd take out this Terramander. Or try to. Advice for a new player. Check out um, this really well-written guide I just put in the chat there, level one. Um, well, I'm glad they bolted the Frilled Mystic. I like I like my Incubation Druids more. Um, maybe they thought that it wasn't going to be countered or something. That, that uh, has a whole lot of good information about magic to newer players. Uh, this is... L Lem Lem Lematcher? Clo the song's called Closer. Here, let me just do this thing. Song will pop up in like 30 seconds. Charter courses are real good. I could keep holding Frilled Mystic up, but I think with getting this dive down, uh, with drawing the dive down, let's, let's get the Biogenic Ooze in play so we can start racing our opponent. Man, these charter courses have been real good. Yeah, they could just have the the uh, Dragon Skull Summit for the uh, dispersal, this, the other half of Discovery. All right, now we have Frilled Mystic plus Negate. And we're attacking them back. I like where we're at. We can always just activate Incubation Druid at end step also. Yeah, 
Yeah, Terramander looks to be a, a pretty impressive card. <laughs> you ooze, they lose. Thankfully, our ooze clock is a whole lot faster than their Terramander clock. Four, eight, eleven. I guess I, d I have lethal, I guess. I guess I could just attack him for lethal. Attack with those. Four, eight, eleven, fourteen. And there we go. All right, so Kral Harpooner, real good against Terramander. Let's bring those in. Um, yeah, I've played a couple things with Judith. Uh, I have Mardu Aristocrats deck. Um, yeah, that has Judith and Priest of the Forgotten Gods in it with uh, Gruesome Menagerie. I like it quite a bit. Um, I'll get you that list here. Gruesome Menagerie is awesome in that kind of deck. Here you go. Call it Judith Priest. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, that was the latest version. I I think the the uh, one of Johnny should just be the fourth Judith in that deck. All right. Anyway, what am I doing to sideboard here? I think I I still want these dive downs. Um. Uh, link again is here. What am I taking out? Zagana? Jade Light? Branch, Branch Walker maybe come on out? Uh, climb. Maybe trim a climb. Alright. Yeah, Frilled Mystic is so good. Yeah. Frilled Mystic is a really good card. Black, white, blue, revels in riches control. Well, for Thursday, I'm, I'm going to be making a Smothering Tithe Emergency Powers deck. Um, so I could certainly see that deck having revel in riches. I'm not sure exactly what what uh, where I want to go with that deck yet. But. I haven't really felt that quasi duplicate is, is super necessary, but I've been happy with the Zagana. You know, it's a it's a big creature, draws a card. I've been pretty happy with it. Stupid lava coil exiling my creature. Hmm. The other good thing about keeping Vivian Reed there is it does make sure uh, Jade Light's a 4-3 so it can tussle with a Drake. No lands. Let's get rid of those. Want to draw this land for Vivian. And with exploring, we get to explore the creature in the graveyard. So Harpooner uh, now has a creature in the graveyard. So that's actually good. Alright, so no land. Let's play Climb. put Sunbird in there to use with emergency powers. So then I have to go Jeskai. Sunbird's an interesting addition that I wasn't considering.
Hmm. Is there a plan to dive down? I don't think they'll have instant speed removal for Jade Light. Dive down's not going to save them. If they have dive down plus shock, or opt plus shock, they can trade. Alright, well they had that. Hey, it's, a, it's all good, Toxic Flames. About. Hmm. Do I play Vivian? No. Uh, so yeah, I was, I was kind of playing around dive down by, like, I was just attacking first. I was, I was playing around dive down thinking I could get the, the damage in. This time I'll I'll play the harpooner, um, and play growth chamber guardian. I'd like one more, like unfortunately you know dive down is just like the whole turn. It's not just like a, oh wow, they had a second fiery cannonade. Yeah, it's our second one of those. Well, they only have one card left in hand, so now it's going to be Vivian this time for me. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Last card was another dive down. Hopefully they don't draw another flyer or another dive Not down. Again. I just harpooner it. Harpooner tick up on Vivian. It's either that or Vivian tick down Druid. Vivian tick down Druid or Harpooner tick up Vivian. I think I like Harpooner tick up Vivian. I think I could try to find Frilled Mystic. And that also kind of gives us the option that if if they had like instant speed removal there to kill the Crowl Harpooner in response, then we no could still play the, the Vivian. Like I do. Um, we'll ooze. I've been working on a teamer control deck main win con using the enchantment that untaps your lands on the end step to make a massive explosion. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a popular one. You can't stop nature. Wilderness reclamation explosion. Not necessarily my favorite. Oh, that's true. I could have, I could have, uh, Hedonis climbed. Um, I couldn't do it like in. Res I couldn't like let the Crowl Harpooner get to seven power and then Hedonis climb before it fights because it it gains the extra power and fights like at the same time. All right, there's got to be Frilled Mystic Balance in here somewhere. Comes. Or not. Oh, I should I should probably be pumping up the incubation druid, but I don't think it really matters at this point. The dark deck is sweet. So we, our deck is good against Drakes, I guess. I don't know. We beat the Drakes deck. I'm a survivor. I don't know if that means we're good against Drakes, but we beat the Drakes deck. That was certainly that was certainly a deck that we were really concerned about earlier, and so you know, uh, that's why we have all the Kral Harpooners in our sideboard for that matchup. Frilled Mystic was awesome. All right, well during that match we got to our first sub goal of the day, thanks to the gifted subs. There, so we are at eight uh, subs on the day. So thank you so much, Lushington. Um, and Lushington, I think you may have had some song requests. I guess if, if you had them in, in chat, I didn't see. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you do. Anyway, let's get some uh, 
Get a pack. Get a pack for getting to uh, each sub goal. So first pack. What do we got? So, all right. So basically, what what I want to open. So, you know, because of like the the algorithm, you can only open up rares you don't have or mythics you don't have, right? The rares that I don't have are there's not really any good rares that I don't have, um, and uh, so there's there's a lot of mythics I'm still kind of looking for. So basically, with these packs, that's what we're trying to get. So any mythic is good. Let's see if we get some mythics. Eh. A rare thing. I'm almost gonna have all the rares in the set. There's not many left. Yeah, your deck beat the final boss. Yep, Matthew. All right, tears for fears. Head over heels. Okay. And then, yeah, I have, to, I have to go search for it. Because I'm using separate soundtracks, I have to go search for it on Spotify. So. Is that the same one? All right, here's our sound request. That's going to be a mulligan. So we don't know what our opponent's doing. And I think we're on the draw. Do we just want to negate? It could certainly be an amazing card against some people. I think, I, I think it's worth it. I'm going to keep it. Yeah, this is a good song. All right, mono red. The gate can counter an important burn spell later. Um. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't hate Dovin. I kind of appreciate it more as the games go on. I wasn't like. You know, I'm not super thrilled about the card, but I don't hate it. I wouldn't just necessarily say I would cut it completely, because... Kind of struggle with, like, early stuff with the deck, especially if you cut it. Alright, really good start for the opponent. That's a nice turn three. Alright, so I need this... Jade Light to be like a 4-3 to fight the Steamkin. I don't know what I'm really looking for. But, you know, this is just like, you know, going to be a, like a 2-2. Two -two. Gain a life draw card. Gotta hope they don't have a burn spell for Jade Light. Probably asking too much. Alright, that's just a real good hand. So this is what the the Brontodons and the Ripjaw Raptors give us a little more a little more beef in there. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's exactly that surveillance there. It's like I don't know what I'm looking for here. Um, climb's probably going to be too slow. Hydroid Crisis, too slow. I, I like Negate, honestly. You know, it didn't work out that matchup, but I, I like Negate. I'm taking out one Vivian. 
I think I'm gonna keep it the same like this now. You think keep Krasis, no Vivian? I like destroying enchantments with Vivian. Yuck. These hands are not good. What happened to us, to us having like good hands? Okay. So Legend says, all right, so Legend has got 12 songs worth. So if Chad has any suggestions for other song requests, only rule is the ABC rule, anything but country. <laughs> all right, Jade Light, be big. I like Thrashing Bronson on here. Big creature. Is this just replaying the same song again? I just realized that. It's just replay. It's just. Or it's like a different version, I guess. Um. So. Yeah, I could just play it 12 times. Uh. Alright, let's keep going. I was like, man, this song's so long. So I could play Zagana. They likely bolt Jade Light in response. Let's see if this damage happens. If the damage happens and they don't kill... Alright, they did not kill Jade Light through that damage. Then they're likely not going to kill it afterwards. So I'll play the Zagana now. Yeah, Night Owl, your deck was really good, though. We're playing it again here. We made some changes. Um, I really liked it. Uh, it changed some stuff up a little bit, though, uh, especially the sideboard. And um, not even a donation deck now. Playing as a regular deck. So, yeah, so Washington gets to decide... So they're attacking here, so they want me to block, and then they're going to bolt Zagana. I mean, I think I just, I think I'd trade two for one. I think that's worth it, with me having, like, Growth Chamber Guardian that goes forever and everything. Um... Honestly, I don't think I don't think I did, Matthew. I, think I I talked about the deck again a little bit at the end. I don't think I had any real recom changes recommended changes. Yeah, the list I posted four hours ago is the one I'm going to try later. For Naya value. Hey, Masklar. Yep, yeah, we're we have gotten a five one so far, and we're two zero in this league. We're doing real good today. Swap Viv for Krasis. Krasis is just not that good, especially on the draw. I don't want Krasis on the draw. So, like, if it's 
If I cast it for six mana, I get to gain. For six mana, I gain two life. Like, that's not even a, an entire card. That costs so much mana. It's just a 3 3, and it gets bolted. Or whatever. I'm already dead by then. I'd rather have Vivian take out Experimental Frenzy. So yeah, I have I have Bronzedon and Vivian for for um, for Frenzy. I think that's that's good. All right, Goldfields Treehouse. Um. Yeah, I like I, I do like negate. I I could see bringing those in, but I, I think I actually kind of like what we have going on here. I think I'm gonna I, I could cut a Vivian for a negate. I think I'll I think I'll do that. We'll play like the one Vivian. Yeah, taking out one Vivian on the draw, going down to one. No, I've been real happy with the Reclamation Sage. There's a lot of en enchantment decks around, so yeah, we have. Sage and Brontodon in the sideboard. Some matchups, Sage is better. Some matchups, Brontodon's better. Um, you know, this is the red matchup is a matchup where you want Brontodon, kind of thing. So I've been happy having them both. Would you want Rex, Sage, Brontodon, and Vivian? Uh, Turbo Fog for sure. They're just like their whole decks are enchantments. That's one right there. Uh, the white decks, like uh, that are playing like History Banalia. And Conclave Tribunal and Nixlon's Binding and all that kind of stuff. You want it there. Um, so we know our opponent's going to Lightning Strike next turn. So I could, like, I could play Branch Walker, but Branch Walker is going to trade with the Lightning Strike. I could just, just pass and have the Negate available and just negate that Lightning Strike because, you know, they're not going to just let this Lightning Strike go to waste. So I think I actually just pass and negate, right? And then Branch Walker next turn. That's reasonable, right? I think that's reasonable. So we're taking five here. We're down to 14. Um, but they're down to three cards in hand. We, we're just... Really looking for another land here to try to get to this Ripjaw Raptor. That's ideal. And turn Branch Walker into a 3 2 is good against Firebrand. Now, hopefully, we get that land though. Alright, come on, land. We're down to 9. There we go. All right, Ripjaw. Help us out. Play some D. And then Ooze next turn. Oh, I would love if they just pass. If they just pass and we get to hold up Frilled Mystic, ooh, that'd be nice. Okay, so Ripjaw is trading, trading with two cards. We take five, go to four. Draw a couple. They only have one card in hand. Um, if I play Ooze, my Ooze token chumps Chain Whirler and Ooze blocks Lava Runner. And that's just that's just my best option. Other options like Jade Light plus Negate. Uh, that's in in the Jade Light plus Negate scenario. I'm just taking three from Chain Whirler and like having Jade Light block Lava Runner, I suppose.
Oh no. Okay, well. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go down to one. Yeah, two two still trades here. Down to one. We need them to draw the land there. Ah, under lightning strike. Why don't they just strike my strike my creature and it doesn't matter. Ah, they had really good good draws there, games one and three. They had a really good hands. Um, you know, when red has really good hands like that, they're gonna win. Whoops. Two and one. Did you have a, a new song for the song request there? All right, two and one. Oh, I need to get the, let's finish out. No, mono red's not too strong. I mean, cause like you don't want mono red to just never be able to win games, you know, like, like that was like, you know, a. Like a really good draw for them, and so they win the game. They're on the play with a, a strong draw. Like that's. You know, you don't. I don't think it. I don't think the format's good if like Mono Red can just like never win. If if they're on the play and have a strong draw and and still lose, and I don't have any life gain, like that's not good. All right, Boros Aggro. So these are the matchups that we were worried about yesterday. After we played the deck through our uh, yesterday, talked about afterwards how I was worried about how it would do against the aggro decks and against Drakes. And we passed the Drakes te test earlier. Um, we ended up losing to Mono Red. Um, and now we got Mono White. And they have another really good start with one drop Vanguard history. This is going to be tough. Nice. You're having fun playing the Gate the gate Colossus Gates of Blaze deck? That's awesome. Yeah, I like that deck quite a bit. Ooh, that's good. Zagana uh, can kind of check that Adanto Vanguard for us. That that deck is not just literally point burn spells at your face. That's not all they do. Like they they dealt almost all their damage with creatures that last game. Like they're they're good like they have a lot of good creatures. They just you know, it's just creatures and burn spell. Alright, we'll have Gruel tomorrow. Gruel tomorrow. So we're down to four. Negate, you're a little late.
Wait, am I supposed to be playing Vivian here? Can I cancel? Can I cancel? Can I just click zero? What happens if I... Oh, Z? Alright, Z does it. Okay, Z works. Z works. Every fight makes me I was thinking I wanted like the creature with the counter in Draw before Zagana, but honestly, no, I, I should just have Zagana in play first. Um, here, so we block Vanguard, and then, because next turn we get to gain two and draw two with Hydroid Crisis. Gross. You can't stop nature. All right, if I play, all right, so I can play Ooze or Krasis. So Krasis gains two life, draws two card, and it's a four four. So I have two four fours. Or if I play Ooze, I have a couple three threes. Then I have to block four power, block four power, block two two, and I take three and go to one. And I keep ooze around. And then they have um They'd have a Danto Vanguard Hunter Witness token and this thing still alive. Oh no, that thing yeah. Vote for Ooze. If I play Krasis, I block Luxodon and that and take six, but I'm at six. So I'd have to block the four powers and take five, go to one. Yeah, it's it's Ooze. We're in a horrible spot either way. We have basically three dead cards in hand. <laughs> we don't we don't need negate available. We don't need to hold up negate. So I go to one. They also get another one one. But Ooze lives. Oh, we're gonna find something good. I don't know what. The wilds are my shield. All right, so if we have two drop plus gain one life. Yep. Crisis for three. Now we can block all three of their big creatures, Vanguard, Vanguard, and uh, the token. And take one, go to two. Foul block there. Could make them pay eight life? No, we, we gotta just get rid of that, that other thing. I think I can kill them. I think I win. If they drew a land, yeah, they're dead. All right, we get to climb and kill them. How about that? Did it look like we we're gonna win this game?
Probably not. But we just did. Oh, they're at 11? I just messed this whole thing up? How'd they just gain a life? Oh, that thing! Oh my gosh, I just messed this all up! I was so cocky! Oh, they gained a life from the token! They gained a life. So, would I have been able to survive? One, two, yeah. Yeah. So Vivian would have found, if it found any creature that cost three or less. Balance comes. Okay, we were not, we would not have survived. All right, well, we weren't gonna win. We weren't gonna survive anyway. We need Vivian to find a creature that costs three or less. Because we need four blockers, you know, we're at one. So we would have died. I wouldn't have had that much mana. Or wait, no. Vivian would have ticked up and found a land, actually. So I would have been able to activate ooze. So yeah, no, we would have we would have been able to survive. Because activate ooze with that land drop that Vivian would have found. Because remember, I wouldn't have had the Hadana's Climb land in play. Because I wouldn't have played the Climb. So I would have had one less mana. So, But Vivian finding a land would have been the fourth mana for me to be able to activate ooze. All right, so this is what I'm trying Rebuke in for. Um, and then we're going to have these Rex Ages, Brontodons, Rip Jaws. Going to have all those in. <laughs> Night Owl. Thanks for the vids for the, uh, the rest in peace there. Rip. Um, I'm going to take out Negate and dive down. Probably don't really have time for him. Um, with Climb also. Dang, we could have survived. Yeah, Ripjaw is a good sideboard card. It, it, it is for sure. So that's 63. What else do I want to cut? Maybe Freld Mystic? One Vivian with these other Disenchants. And two Freld Mystic. Now Harpooner versus the 2-1 Blessing Flyer I, I don't think is... Is a great trade for us. There was there was a two drop that made a Thopter token who is an O2. Matthew, that's what you're wishing for? He said, I wish there was a two drop that was made a Thopter token who is an O2. Um Man. So many people have, like, wishes in the world that, like, you know, you know, you can, like, wish for anything, and that's your wish? Well, yeah, they're, so the comment is, Mystic feels way too slow, their hands are empty when you have four mana. Not necessarily depending on... You know, like being on the play here, I like Mystic more, where if we have like the mana creature on turn two, we're like Mysticking on turn three on the play kind of thing. Growth Chamber Guardian's good. The 2 2 that Adanto Vanguard cannot get through. That's pretty good.
So, do they have a land drop? Looks like Conclave Tribunal. That's fine. Do I Rexage that? Or do I save Rexage? I think I save Rexage and just go double Growth Chamber Guardian. Ziddy goes with the bits. What what uh what deck did you have donated for tonight? Oh, for the the donation there. Oh, the ten dollar donation there. Best mill deck you got. Play it. Gotcha. That was just sorry. That was just like you know just a little bit ago. Um. So donation decks usually do are, are twenty dollars, Zitty Ghost. Uh, and um, you like the info down below, like yes, yeah, so we could. All right, so if we wreck sage now, we could destroy them. Um, or yeah, we could keep them off City's blessing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we wreck sage, uh, if I wreck sage, then I don't get to activate Guardian. Don't have like better blocker. Um, I kind of want a Vivian, maybe, to destroy Tribunal. There you go. Does that count? Absolutely, it does. All right, and that's so that's that's thirty dollars. That's what it usually is for me to build the deck. <laughs> All right, that one counts too. Um, is it important to keep them off of City's Blessing? Is that very important? It probably is. Double Snubhorn Sentry. It probably is. And yeah, I guess I like Rex Age more because Vivian can destroy the Aspirant. Heck yeah, Ziddy Ghost. Okay. All right, Mill Deck. Honestly, oh, Fleckmaster. There you go. Hey, Fleck, I need your list. And you're eating at Texas Roadhouse? Man, I really like Texas Roadhouse. That place is good. Alright, we need a mill deck. Can I play that tonight? Can I fit that in tonight? That'll be tough. All right, Rivers Rebuke. Come on, Rivers Rebuke. Where are you at? Oh, you put it in chat yesterday? Oh, dang it. Sorry, I, I missed it then. My bad. All right, no Rivers Rebuke. Um, What can I even do here? Like, I can make two 4-4s, four fours, two 4-4s four fours and a 2-2. Two two. So the 4-4s four fours block like that, that, and the 2-2 two two chumps, and we take 10. Oh, uh, I take 18. I think, I think I need to rip draw to help me draw into rebuke. We just kept on drawing these other growth chamber guardians. We've drawn three growth chamber guardians. We don't want to draw three of those. All right, perfect. Thanks, Fleck. Got it.
All right, we got aggroed. All right, well, I, I threw away the first game. Uh, so that first game that first game was my fault. Um, you know, we still definitely could have lost, but uh, it wasn't necessarily a loss. But that second game, our opponent's hand was just incredible. Um, so, yeah, it looks like... Oh, that's still going. Um, yeah, so our aggro matchup is, is kind of tough. Just in general, um, I don't know. Like I, I, like I don't think, I don't know what, you know, if if the deck needs to, to change any to help that more, or if just you know like good hands beat, you know, good like our like the aggro decks whenever they have like those kind of really ridiculously good hands, um, you know, those could just just defeat us. Yeah, I like Hadana's climb. Yeah, I like it. Uh. I mean, to be fair, I think we, I think we should have, or like we could have won game one. I think I, I think I could have pulled that out. Um, and I don't know exactly like how weak we are to aggro. We're just, we're just weak to their best hands. Um, you know, like that that game they had three lands and cast millions of spells and lots of Venerate Luxodons. We don't, I don't have like a sweeper. You know, like we could certainly use a sweeper. Um, yeah, I got Rivers Rebuke chilling over here but even like even if we rivers rebuke they just get to drop three one drops in the next turn play some more and play the luxodons again you know like we're we're still not we're not looking good um so that's kind of tough quench instead of negate in the main deck no sleep slows them down for a minute does that really help us win? Like, ima like imagine like what happened like that last game if we had sleep. Does that really help us win either? Um, I don't know. Like, does the deck need to splash another color for a sweeper? Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, yeah, maybe a Llanowar Elf to help get going a little faster. That could certainly be a thing. Um, how good was Branch Walker in those games and like some of the other games? Um, wasn't incredible. Yeah, I'm. I, I like Lana War, maybe because that that game three against Red. Um, honestly, that game three against Red, if Branch Walker was Lana War, I think we would would have had a better chance there. Lana War just would. I guess it would have died to the Chain Whirler. Actually, actually, would have just died to the Firebrand. We would have shocked in for it. No, it actually would not have been better. Um. Yeah, I need to play the deck some more. I I like three Rex Age, three Brontodon still. Um. I don't think I really want Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, Zorius deck's almost up on YouTube. Uh, I'd need to finish typing stuff out for it, but yeah, I need to play the deck a little more. That's that's a takeaway there. But uh, finish 2-2 with Simic Adept. If you're watching this over on YouTube, then uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, of course. And I'll see you for the next video.